what's up welcome back to my channel a lot of you guys have left me comments saying that you want to know where the proposal video is when Slayer proposed to me in Niseko but unfortunately we don't have a proposal video for you guys I feel like it's rare in today's day and age to have a moment that just the two of us can share you know what I mean like everything's always uploaded on social media people always have a piece of these moments with you and so not having a video to share is actually something that I really am happy about. Are you? I am. Yeah? You're not mad at me? I'm not mad at you. <laughs> well, to be honest, I just wanted to have something that is just for the both of us. So we, we didn't take videos, we just took photos of that night. But it's something we plan on just keeping for ourselves, you know, just something private. And it's nice to have a memory or it's nice to have a photo to look back on. And then, you know, you can sort of remember that moment in your own way like the, how you felt can color that memory as opposed to when you have an actual video and you just watch it and it sort of has a different effect on how you remember that moment you know what i mean i'm really thankful that that's how Slater did it i feel like us as a couple our friends would know we're very chill we're very relaxed we don't really like to be in the spotlight or you know anything similar to that so it was a very us kind of moment right it was a very chill, intimate setting. In our Airbnb, we rented a house with our friends. I didn't plan on doing it there, proposing there, but um, my friends, they actually All went, left out, went out to build a snowman in the middle of the night, <laughs> which gave us the house to ourselves. So I figured that that would be a perfect moment to talk to Chris about it, ask for her hand. Right? Yeah, and it's you know what? It's so weird because Sarah and I never really talk about anything like that. Obviously, we knew that our relationship was moving forward, but we never really sort of said, hey, you know, in two years or next year, you know, we might consider tying the knot. So it all came as a really big surprise to me. In fact, like when but he But I was me, planning it for like a while. Apparently, he was planning it for a while and he was just being sneaky about it. Like his own brother didn't even know that he proposed. He was so shocked. Yeah, just as shocked as me, I'm sure. But he was really nice about it because he asked permission from my parents, the works. So I'm really thankful that this is how it happened. And I'm sorry that you guys can't share the moment with us, but I hope it's something that you guys can respect. I'm sure you guys all love us and want us to be happy. So I'm sure that you will give us a tough time about this. How did you feel? How did I feel? I was genuinely, that moment before you proposed, I was genuinely feeling so loved. And I was telling him about it, like, you know, this is so nice, I feel so nice with you, etc, etc, etc. And then when he asked me, it was just so shocking and surprising. I had no idea it was coming. So I didn't answer for like, what, two or three minutes? Because I honestly didn't know what to think. I was. I just, so you were thinking of saying no? I was thinking of saying no, but it was just so surprising and shocking. And I just ended up crying. Because I was so shocked and happy at the same time. You didn't expect it. I really didn't expect it. And up to now, because you know it's all so new to me and I had no idea he was planning it, we don't talk about it. So sometimes I'm just like, wait, is this really happening? Like, am I ready for this? Are we ready for this? Like, I feel like I'm a child. Adulting. Yeah, it's really adulting 101. Hashtag adulting. And because we're also building a house together, it's all sort of rushing in, like all of these new experiences are sort of coming at the same time which is a little bit overwhelming but also really fun at the same time so moving forward just to give you an idea of where we're going chris will be planning the wedding in charge of the wedding while i will be in charge of the house right yeah and that sort of sounds like it's a good plan because you know girls are usually into weddings and stuff like that and Slater's an engineer so naturally planning a house would be second nature to him Mm -hmm. But like I'm not your typical kind of girl where I've had a fairy tale dream about my wedding since I was a kid. Like I am starting from scratch, guys. You gotta help me. Like I don't know where to begin. So it's a little bit. Obus na yung budget namin. That's not true. Honestly, Sater and I are really simple and chill, and we just want to have like a really nice time with our friends. I don't want it to be anything formal or too stiff. We just wanna remember and celebrate love but i guess yeah. with all this talk about having no proposal video i feel like we'll be happy to share a lot of our prenups and uh a wedding day to maybe, everyone. maybe do you guys want to see <laughs> <laughs> 
Comment the link below. Huh? Comment, comment in the, the comment section below. Comment in the link below. What? <laughs> almost there, love. Almost, almost there. there. Almost a YouTuber. So when we have a house together in the future, then I guess I can drag Slater into more videos to share with you guys. <laughs> if he's not too busy. That's really exciting for me because it's a whole new chapter to share with you guys. Like building a home, decorating, you know, living alone. Like I don't even know how I'm going to start. I've lived with my parents my whole life. I, and to my international viewers, I'm sure that's like really shocking to you guys because it's not normal. But in the Philippines, we don't move out until we get married. And that's normal. So I've actually never lived away from home, right? Of course you have. You've lived in Paris. Yeah, but only for a few months at a time. And you know, daddy's always had my back. So <laughs> this I is going to be... I got your back, love. Aww. Yeah. So that's it, I guess, guys. Like, just wanted to share our experiences. The past few weeks have been a little bit of a whirlwind. Whirlwind? A roller coaster? Like, I don't know. Time's flying so fast, man. And I just... <laughs> I'm just kind of floating, I feel like. I'm not shooting any videos, I'm not really into shooting content, I'm just like... We're doing a lot of things. Trying to grasp <laughs> what's happening here. But it's fun. It's hard to juggle a lot of things like planning the wedding, and then planning the house, and having our own lives. Chris is doing a lot of traveling as well, and I am doing my business. It's hard to juggle a lot of things, right? It's hard to juggle a lot of things, but it is very exciting, overwhelming, and I feel like I don't want to talk about it to you guys because I don't want to jinx anything. <laughs> I think we're past that now. <laughs> we actually just met with the architect a few hours ago. And Slater has done a really good job planning our house. It's really exciting. I can't wait to show it to you guys. Yeah. And our house is being... Uh, is, what do you call this? Designed? Yes. Designed for free. By Slater's As a cousin. Gift. Yeah. And oh my gosh, you're doing such a good job. Like We're every excited time to show you. Every time we see the plants, we're like, is this really happening? This is like Slater's dream house and now mine as well. And they're just really making it come to life and it's really amazing. Do you want to see anything else there? No? <laughs> Alright guys, so that is it for today. I hope I answered some of your questions. If you have more, then please don't hesitate to leave a comment down below so that I can drag him out again and we can answer them for you. If you enjoyed watching this video, please don't forget to leave me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!